Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Charles Gould. I'm the Director General of the International Cooperative Alliance, which is the umbrella organization for cooperatives around the world. Uh, we were established in 1895 in London by cooperatives who came together from different countries and decided that there needed to be a global movement. And we have since 1982 been headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, where I, uh, where I am. Uh, we are very excited that you're coming together today to talk about cooperatives and explore what our impact can be over this coming decade. Uh, these next few years we think are a critical time for cooperatives. We think we have a, a period now that is in many ways like the, the heyday of cooperative growth a century ago. Uh, we're seeing in an environment where people are very disconnected from the economic and social models that dominate their lives. And they're looking for new ways of doing business. They're looking for new models. And we believe at ICA that the cooperative is one of the most important solutions for times such as these. We have an incredible opportunity right now uh, in 2012 with the United Nations International Year of Cooperatives. And this allows us to really get our message out at this particularly important time. It allows us to leverage the the panache that the UN name can bring uh, and help us cut through a lot of the noise, uh, the competing noise that's out there with competing messages. When the uh, ICA board uh, realized that we were going to be successful in our efforts to secure a United Nations year, we then talked about what exactly should we do with this. We knew we, we wanted this, but what should our strategy be? And we felt that we should do one thing and do it really well and focus on what it is that we could do differently this year that we couldn't normally do in other years. So there are a lot of uh, ideas about what we could have done with the year, how we could have increased education in schools and business schools, for example, but we felt we could do a lot of those things in any year, and we need to be doing that. But that what really will make a difference this year is to use the United Nations uh, endorsement to raise public awareness of the importance of the cooperative model. And we have three key messages that we're trying to get out. And the first one is that cooperatives are a serious business model. That in a, in a time when we're looking for a more balanced economic uh, environment, we're looking for more models, the cooperative is a serious model. And ICA publishes a, a global 300 list of the largest cooperatives in the world, for example, that shows that many of these are very large, employing thousands of individuals and having great impact. And collectively, the top 300 cooperatives in the world have annual turnovers of 1.6 trillion U.S. dollars. So they're huge. It's a serious business model. The second message we have is that we're values-based, that... While we're a serious business model, we're a self-help model, we're also a different way of doing business. And sustainability is core to that, is integral to what it means to be part of a, of a, uh, of a cooperative. It is, uh, access is an important part of our values. So that's our second key message. And the third is that members control. The third message is members have a voice. We think at a time like this, when so many people are feeling so disaffected, they're feeling so powerless, that to get out the message that you have a voice in the cooperative, we think is very compelling, especially young people who we're trying to attract. Now, all of that said about the importance of the international year, there is a bigger agenda here. And if all we do is celebrate the international year of cooperatives, and on December 31st, we look back and, uh, and, uh, slap ourselves on the back and congratulate ourselves that we had uh, wonderful events during the year, we will have squandered an opportunity. The real opportunity, ICA believes, in the international year is to use it as a starting point, a foundation, to begin to put in place the systems, to begin to build the alignment among cooperatives around the world toward a broader vision. And that vision for ICA is that by 2020, the cooperative will be the fastest growing form of enterprise in the world. And we think that's very possible. We think that can happen. It won't 
just happen, but we think we can make that happen. Now, we may not be the fastest growing in terms of annual revenue uh, increase. Uh, that's not our primary goal. But in terms of the impact of the number of people engaged in new members, people who are being reached, we believe that we could be the fastest growing model of enterprise by the end of this decade. So we are now putting in place a blueprint for a cooperative decade. And we will be sharing this with our members. We have members in 100 countries. We'll be sharing this with our members and asking them to, to uh, vote on this at the close of the international year, which will be uh, October 31st in Manchester, UK. And we will be laying out there the different strategies that we think will be necessary if we're going to overcome the obstacles to that vision and really seize the momentum that we believe we have coming out of the international year. So we want in Manchester in October to pivot our thinking from a year to a decade. We'll have a digital strategy. We'll have a, a financial strategy, a capital raising strategy. Uh, there will be uh, strategies around, as we're currently envisioning this, around our values. And each of these will be essential components that we will then have to implement over the coming years to achieve that vision by 2020. So we're excited by this. This will be a consultative process over the course of 2012 so that we're getting good input from our regions around the world, from the sectoral organizations that make up ICA, from our members, from other key constituents. And uh, we appreciate the fact that you're taking time today to think through many of these same issues about how, to, how do we ensure that the cooperative model achieves its full potential as a solution in some difficult times uh, such as these. So thank you for that, and we look forward to hearing from you.